Cancer. Welcome to your July 2020 messages. Hello, hello. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. <laughs> Cancer or moon child, however you identify. I'm old school, so it's just easier to say Cancer. So, But if you identify as moon child, hello, welcome. Not to be discriminatory. Everybody's welcome on my channel. If you are new, welcome in. Please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And if you are not new to my channel, welcome back. I don't know why I was guided to use some of my more gothic decks, like the darker depictions of the cards. Not dark energy, we don't do that. <sighs> Clear cancel the light. We only deal with light energies only in this, on this channel, in this house. <laughs> But I have um, my Tarot de la Nuit, my Tarot of the Night, I, uh, for the main spread. And then I have my Witch's Tarot, to clarify. I have my Heal Yourself reading cards. And I have uh, my tarot, uh, Oracle of the House of Night and my Halloween Oracle. So I don't know if something's going on between now and Halloween. If this is when the energy is playing out, like the course of a few months. If uh, for some people it's happening now, for others in between, and then others more like Halloween. I don't know. <laughs> I don't ask questions. I just do what they tell me to do. Alright, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Cancer, hello. Second half of quite possibly the craziest year on record. <laughs> Way through. Oh my goodness. And we still have several planets in retrograde. <sighs> Transitional year. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can get. One more. We ought to be good. Hi, Phineas. For those of you who don't know, when my cat comes around, he's my familiar. Um, I see that as a good one. Right, Bubby? It's like, whatever. Maybe one more. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right, guys. Let's see what's going on. If it doesn't feel right, I don't take it. Ooh, all right, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. I love this card when it's right side up. It's Black Swan, love it. There are literally seven Black Swans. <laughs> so, very much the Black Swan. But it's in reverse, so we'll see what that means as we clarify. Ooh, Five of Swords. King of Cups, hey. Ten of Swords in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. And the Page of Swords, oh, nose, okay, in reverse on the bottom. We'll leave that up just so I can reference it. Every once in a while, they guide me to look at the, um, the bottom of the deck. So we'll see what happens. I'm just going to tap this because I'm not sure. No, okay. It looked like it wanted to go dark. That happens sometimes. <laughs> That's usually my sign that... Um, I need to do a different reading first. I actually recorded Pisces reading, um, which by the way, hello <laughs> to my water signs. I'm wearing the mermaid, my necklace, my mermaid shirt, my bracelet, because it's water signs. That's what we are, right? And I'm a Pisces sun sign, so I am definitely, I always say I'm a mermaid. <laughs> so um, I actually did their reading earlier. I got through the main spread, the clarifiers. I started on the oracles and um, I received a phone call from my son. So of course I answered. And uh, normally it would save the video and it didn't. So I don't know what that's all about, but <laughs> weird. weird. I mean, I know it's Mercury retrograde, but it also to me said that reading probably just wasn't going to resonate for the collective. So we needed a different message. There's always a, 
something for the reader in a reading, even private readings. But um, maybe that reading was just for me. I don't know. It's kind of intense. So we'll see, right? All right. So Seven of Pentacles. But Seven of Pentacles is typically about um, taking a look and seeing if the fruit is ripe enough to pick and eat. Um, just kind of like stepping back and evaluating what's going on. And then, uh, so Five of Swords. See that ice pick like dagger she's got? That's like the don't fuck with me <laughs> kind of look. I will cut you. So uh, you could very much be feeling that way right now, Cancer. Um, we're still in your season right now. So happy birthday to everybody who has a birthday in Cancer season. So, uh, which is what well, when in the, with the exception of cross watchers, anybody else who's watching this video. So the five of swords is, um, like winning, but at what cost? Traditionally, this card is shown as, um, like somebody who's sometimes they're smug. Sometimes they're worse for the wear. Like they, they've been through it. They've been through battle. And then like one or two people that are also walking away because this person's the victor, but maybe it's like, at what cost? What did it cost you? Did you lose relationships like friendships or did your family ostracize you? Like what, what's going on? It's a victory, at, but at what cost? Or maybe sometimes it's a stolen victory. Like, did you cheat to get that? Did you, did, was somebody else harmed? <laughs> was someone else harmed in the making of that video? You know, <laughs> whatever it is. Um, that, that's the energy of the five of swords. Okay. Now on to good news. Uh, the King of wa Water Cups. What, what is he? Cups. <laughs> I almost said the King of Wands. So if you're a fire sign or if you're dealing with a fire sign, there you go. Aries Leo said. Um, this is my, the King of Cups is my favorite king in this deck. He is so yummy. Mm. So, um, whew, yowza. So, <laughs> good job showing up in your reading because remember, gender is neutral, right? Just king, I say he because clearly that's a male on the card. And the king is male, queen is female. But this energy of the king of cups is someone who is, he's very in control of his emotions. Like he's not um, overly emotional. He... Um, is definitely rational and he when he says something when he says he loves you he means it so there you go mm, he's yummy ten of swords <laughs> in reverse so this is the surrender card to me um, especially in this deck it's what I love about this deck the artist took some liberties that it doesn't always match traditional tarot this is typically a dude laying flat out on his his stomach with 10 swords stuck in his back. So it could be that you were stabbed in the back. It could be that you're just, you're mentally exhausted. You're done. So what do we do when we get to that point? We surrender. See how he's looking up. Surrender, surrender to the universe. So in reverse, um, it could be you're not done yet. It could be that you're getting out of that energy. You're out of that mental anguish. You did that work already. You surrendered. Good for you. We'll see what happens when we clarify. Then the three of pentacles in reverse. So this is about teamwork when it's upright. Um, sometimes we can think about like painting a mural. You can be really close up right here and you're doing some fine detail work, but you can't see the forest for the trees, so to speak. So um, you might need somebody outside to kind of take a look for you and say, hey, are these colors meshing? Is the scaling right with the the big picture. So you could be too focused on the details and you might need somebody, you might not be listening. Um, so you might need somebody to come in and say, how can I help you? Again, we'll see what happens when we clarify. I like that. I like that cancer. It's good energy. Well, kind of. <laughs> let's see. And flip it. 
with that five of swords if you feel like somebody um, was wrongful to you and that could be too the page of swords in reverse so the page of swords is typically um, it could be a younger air sign uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius but there's somebody who um, pages or messengers are also less mature energy so that could be somebody who's like gossiping or spying or kind of like um, talking behind your back. So that could be what the Five of Swords is. Take it how it resonates. With that Ten of Swords in reverse, you could just be over it. Like, I don't care. Let people talk. Because you know the truth. See what we got. I don't know if one more. Again. <laughs> you can always check out your other placements. Your so if Cancer is your sun sign, your moon rising and Venus, um, to get more pieces to the puzzle, or just maybe they resonate more for you. Is the seven of pentacles in reverse here the fool the queen of swords the magician reversed the four of wands reversed and the page of swords upright yep definitely somebody who's <clears throat> sneaking around a little bit so the fool a new cycle beginneth <laughs> so um this could be taking a leap of faith. Like you might not be able to see if it's time yet. You might just have to act in faith. Okay. Um, and they're like, mic drop. So <laughs> there we go. Queen of Swords. So this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, someone who's maybe a little bit older than you. Could be your uh, maternal figure, could be a boss, could be an older sister, you know, whatever the energy is. Um, for the Queen of Swords is someone who see how she's got her sword at the ready so she can cut the crap out of her life um that's the sort of truth as well so she's very um logical she thinks and weighs all of the options before she makes a choice she can also tend to be um too heady remember what i said about um this king of cups sometimes we gotta listen to our heart too Magician in reverse, so this is the sign of Aries, if you're dealing with an Aries, or have it in your chart, prominently. So, the Magician is manifesting when it's upright, when it's in reverse, it's also like manipulative, so this Queen of Swords could be manipulating you. Might be causing you to feel a little stuck. Four of Wands in reverse, so you could be, um, so this is when it's upright, it's the 11-11 card, the twin flame, ultimate union, divine partner, you know, whatever label you put on it, that's what this card is, so in reverse. So you could be um, leaving somebody who's being cold and manipulative towards you with that fool, just starting a new chapter in your life, something that's not making you happy anymore. And then the page of swords, yep. So that might cause them to, um, snoop <laughs> they might send someone on their behalf to um kind of check it out they could make a fake account and try to follow you whatever it is um it's just less mature energy yeah they stopped me so that's what we're gonna go with all right five of swords The star in reverse, yep. I didn't ask for this. I didn't wish for this. This is wish upon a star. It's also the sign of Aquarius. Huh. This is not a wish come true. This is not something that I asked for. This is not what I wanted. Very much, very much not what I wanted. Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. 
probably could have kept pulling, but it's like, all right, guys, we got to quit at some point. We got seven cards here. <laughs> so um, the Ten of Cups in reverse, yeah, you're not happy. This is emotional fulfillment. The Ten of Pentacles is stability. The Ten of Cups is emotions. So you're not feeling it. Whatever happened, it definitely upset your apple cart, which is why that Seven of Pentacles could be in reverse as well. Queen of Wands, yep, Fire Sign, Aries Leo Sage. But in reverse, it's somebody who's controlling. Um, or maybe you tried to control the situation and it did not work out for you. Lacking the passion and uh, self awareness. Seven of Wands, that's boundaries. It's also defensiveness. So you could, because of whatever happened, you could be feeling very defensive the wheel but karma is spinning and the wheel is turning it goes well with the fool you know things are set in motion it's also about divine timing so it's like it was time for this to happen and it will also be time for something better to come in which it looks like it is pretty quickly <laughs> so nights are about action and this is the knight of swords so it could be an air sign um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I see knights as people who are like your peers. So within five years of you could be somebody's coming in quickly and he's going that way. <laughs> so that's towards the past when it's to the left. So it could be somebody coming back into your life. We are in Mercury retrograde. Five of cups. You're not sure what to do about it though. It caused you a lot of grief. Whatever happened with this five of swords, so you got two fives here. That's that's the grief card, my sad little mermaid. But it could be because of a third party situation. So remember how I said that the five of swords is typically somebody who's standing as the victor, but then one or two people walk away. Three of cups is typically celebration, but since it's around some other little bit of kind of darker cards, um, I'm going to go ahead and say that this was a third party situation. So somebody else was here, um, whether there was, um, cheating involved in a relationship or, um, somebody wasn't, uh, truthful. Maybe somebody else got the promotion instead of you, you know, just I'm not going to try to pigeonhole or shoehorn anything that isn't true. I'm just giving you guys ideas for whatever might resonate for you. It's a general reading, so take what resonates. Give you the energies that are coming through. So that could very well be just somebody else involved that interfered. Eight of Wands in reverse, you guys might not be talking or it's stalled communication. Um, yeah, definitely that Five of Swords because that's what we're talking about. So you're not talking. Whatever happened, as a result, you're not speaking to each other. And that hurts. You know, that Ten of Cups in reverse, that definitely hurts. So what's the King of Cups? Hmm. Hmm. All right. Nine of Wands in reverse. So um, you don't feel the need to fight anymore, to resist, to play the victim, which is great. Embodying the Empress energy, that's beautiful. So the Empress is all of the queens combined. She is somebody who is very balanced, nurturing, maternal. She's typically depicted as pregnant. I don't know if you can tell in this card, but um, she's patient, loving, kind, nurturing. She's very balanced, very fair. Um, like the ultimate wife, the divine feminine. So here with the King of Cups, this could be confirmation of you embodying that energy, being a water sign, or it could be that this is how the King of Cups sees you. Page of Cups, yep. Yeah. Coming in with an offer. This could be a younger water sign, or you could have a child who's a water sign. Um, but generally speaking, 
pages or messengers. So this is a fairly, this could be a, with the fool, this could be a new relationship. Even if it's with somebody from the past, like I said, with that um, Knight of Swords, it could be um, just a new start in love. That's really beautiful. Page of Wands in reverse. So a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, or you could have a child um, in that range. But uh, see how he's yelling like, hey! <laughs> In reverse, it's more like, hey. So it's listening to that still quiet voice within you. So if you're not sure what you want to do, if you want to accept this person's cup, you can, um, or if they're just kind of reaching out maybe with a, hey, how, how have you been? How's it going? It's been a couple of years. What's going on? It could be a, a small message, something that isn't super deep, like, the boom, what's the movie? I don't know, I was born in the 80s, but this is an 80s movie <laughs> that is um, like the boom box and he holds it up and it's a major declaration of love. It's not so much that. <laughs> it's more like a little text that's like, hey, what's going on? How's everything been doing? Or I thought of you today, you know, just something I heard or, or it could be song lyrics, you know, whatever it is, just be open to receive it because this page can go to this king. Pages trained to be knights who trained to be kings. Ace of Pentacles, yep, beginning something new. You're planting the seeds. And then the Five of Swords, it's worth fighting for. This Five of Swords and this Five of Swords have a very different feel, don't they? The cards that came out with this Five of Swords were darker. Um, definitely more fighting over something. This has the butterfly and coming out more victorious. So this energy, it's worth it. Whatever is the cost is going to be worth it. Yeah. Ten of Swords in reverse. Woo. Okay. Okay. Chariot in reverse. Yep. You're not moving forward. You're not done yet. It's not over. This is also, you guys, look at you showing up in your own reading. Doesn't matter that it's reversed. Um, or it could make you feel um, like you are turned on your head. <laughs> Definitely could feel that way. Nine of Swords in reverse, that's good. Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups, King of Swords, okay. Lots of Kings and Queens here. Lots of kings and queens. Um, we do have the king of swords and the queen of swords. So that is, um, everybody thus far has received this. And I did all the fire and all the air. Oh, that's the wrong card. Sorry. <laughs> Else if I hold up the right card, right? Makes a lot more sense. So even though you guys aren't air signs, just I want you to check this out. See how they're looking at each other? When we get the king and the queen of the same suit, those are divine counterparts. So twin flame, ultimate union, divine soulmates, the one, whatever it is. And labels are for soup cans. <laughs> so, when, but when we get the king and queen of the same suit, absolutely that's what that means. So there you go, for what it's worth. This is definitely an energy, um, if it's a love reading for you, your divine counterpart. Nine of Swords in reverse, great, because this is the anxiety, worry, nightmares card. And it's in reverse, so all those swords are falling down, which is fantastic. Though you're not necessarily moving forward, it's not making you super anxious. You're probably a little okay with it, you're, with kind of just staying put right now, um, just feeling out the energy, seeing what happens. You will be divinely inspired to um, take some passionate action. I love that butterfly up top. Spirit is guiding you towards this. Ace of Wands energy. Wishes fulfilled, Nine of Cups. Look at that feast, it's beautiful. So it is your wish come true. Over here, this was not so much with that star in reverse. 
But by the time we get over here, absolutely. And then the King of Swords. So it could be with an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But in general, the King of Swords is somebody who embodies the energy of um, logic and um, thought. See how, okay, hang on. Gotta find her again. All right. See how they both have, well, I'm gonna put them this way. See how they both have their Swords of Truth at the ready? So they can, they're very connected to, um, to their thoughts. They're very logical. They, they think before they act, before they speak, before they do anything. They weigh all the options and try to determine what's um, the best course of action. So um, they are also able to cut the crap. <laughs> so if it doesn't feel right, they let it go. And um, they're also divine counterparts. So you could be with somebody, this person that's coming back. I mean, we did have the Knight of Swords also. So if it's an air sign, it's definitely looking that way. Someone you've known before is coming back, embodying that King of Cups. So when we put the King of Cups and King of Swords together, that's head and heart. That's very balanced. That's beautiful. That is beautiful energy. Also, if the King of Cups is you and the King of Swords is your person, then um, you balance each other out, which is always a good thing. We need someone that can help us do that. Right, three of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Cups, Four of Cups in reverse, Death, Emperor in reverse, Three of Wands, Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups. Here we go again. I feel like I'm playing crazy eights. I got several cards here. <laughs> eights of cups. So with this three of pentacles in reverse, you might, um, if they're offering their cup to you, you might enlist some outside assistance. Just always take it with a grain of salt. Um, not everybody always has your best interest. They're only operating from, through the filter of their own past experience. So just word to the wise there. But you could be um, getting someone else's opinion. Four of Cups in reverse, that's great. You're getting out of that stagnant, melancholy, looking back at the past and kind of like, oh, those were some really great times. They were. And now you're coming out of the stagnant energy like, okay. The Ace of Cups, because um, the mermaid's offering the Ace of Cups, if he were to just turn around, he would see her a her cup that she's offering so that's what you're doing you're turning around and seeing that cup death just transformation right <laughs> this is scorpio energy so shout out to fellow water sign scorpio the death card is just um transformation that's all it is so this person might not have been right for you in the past or the timing might not have been right in the past with that wheel but now, as we cycle through the rest of this energy, absolutely, it's a major transformation. The Emperor in reverse, where somebody might have been controlling before and unbalanced, because the Emperor, so we got the Emperor and the Empress, right? Absolutely, divine counterpart. So when we have the Emperor in reverse, He's all of the kings combined. He can be a little um, little off balance, a little controlling. So if somebody was like that, they're definitely going through a transformation where they're turning that right side up. Ships are coming in. Absolutely. You have been waiting. Look at those flowers up on those wands. You've been waiting a while. <laughs> also, things are blooming. So it could have, could be a timing card as well. Three wands, three weeks maybe. The Knight of Wands coming in, fire sign. Uh, also just very passionate energy, Knights are action, so this is passionate action. Um, coming in hot. Queen of Pentacles, so earth sign. Could be also your mother. You could be asking your mom or um, someone who's like your mom, your grandmother, your godmother, your favorite aunt a mentor, your best friend, someone who's a little bit older, not much older, but a little bit older and wiser than you, uh, or at least that's how you see her, 
or him, how you see them. Um, a trusted advisor of some sort, you could be getting their opinion on all of this. Yep, on the nose. <laughs> and it's ultimately the Two of Cups. So even no matter what somebody else says, you always have to do what's right for you. Because we all want this Two of Cups, the soulmate energy. So just keep it in mind. Um, ultimately, it's between the two of you, right? If you're in a monogamous relationship. And we will see what the Wisdom of the House of Night has to say to us. love. The answer is always love. That's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. It's also number 10. 10 of cups. 10 of pentacles. The warrior. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's also what that nine of wands is too, because that can be the wounded warrior card. Um, and it's number two. So it could be the energy of, um, he's, he's been through some stuff. He's been through that transformation or she just saying he, because that's a male on the card, um, been through some stuff and, um, definitely better, uh, for the experience learned lessons. And isn't that amazing when you know that you want to be with somebody, but they're so, they're just, they're less mature. They're, it's just not right for you. And then they go, you separate, I always talk about twin flames or, you know, whatever it is in separation. And then they come back to you and they've grown whatever they've been through in the last two years, 10 years, you know, whatever it is, anywhere in between. And they come back and they're like, yeah, I've grown up. I've matured. I've learned what's important in life. Um, I've cast aside the demons. I don't let other people run my life anymore. I'm not afraid of what people think anymore. Um, I settled down. I'm not out partying all the time, you know, whatever it is. It just vibed higher. And if you're watching this, you're higher vibe than the vast majority of the population. And that's unfortunate, but <laughs> it's the reality right now. So let's see what the Halloween Oracle has to say. So it's beautiful when they, they come back. They're not groveling, like, come crawling back to you. Oh my God, I was so wrong. No, it's more like, shit. If I, I see myself as the high priestess. So if I had a dime for every time somebody said, Kelly, you were right. I would definitely be living on a beach in probably like Tahiti or Fiji and Hawaii very, very well off. <laughs> and it's just because it's that higher vibe. You know, we're connected. We know we're divinely guided every day. And unfortunately, a lot of people aren't. So sometimes they have to go and they have to, to fight their battles. But they always return to love. Yay. Ooh, invisibility, authenticity. So if you felt like they didn't see you this whole time, you're mistaken. They're looking. They're looking. They know what's up. And right underneath of it is the lovers. <laughs> yep. So um, this is also authenticity. So um, you have been living your authentic self living as your authentic self. And though you might not feel seen, you are. 
It's all about feeling seen. And then the mummy, change, yep. You're changing, you're evolving. Could have had an Egyptian past life. Beautiful. What did I say about that warrior energy? They've changed, they've evolved. They've been through some stuff. <laughs> They could be like a warrior coming back from battle wrapped up in bandages. Could be. So what do we need to heal? I don't read my Oracle decks in reverse very often, so I always like to make sure that they are still right side up. Pay attention to the signs, also number 10. So 10 is October, and I said at the beginning I was guided to grab my more gothic decks. Um, so could be October. 10 is also completions. Yeah, pay attention to the signs. See that owl up there? Oops, sorry, up there. And uh, yep, on the nose. You definitely um, are being divinely guided and inspired and see she's got her lantern the divine spark within you leads the way our souls will, will never steer us wrong they know why we're here why we incarnated in this lifetime right now always listen to your soul phoenix rising yep three and two is five change rising from the ashes because that's what a phoenix does when the time comes for it to be over, it bursts into flames and dissolves into ashes and then is reborn from those same ashes. It's really quite beautiful. Gorgeous. Have faith is on the bottom, 22. Regardless of your religious affiliation or non-religious affiliation, if the cross offends, get rid of it. But um, it's just about having faith. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the process. Have faith in divine timing with that wheel. Um, just know. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Divine timing. Just know that it's for the highest and greatest good. Whatever is coming through, whenever it happens, let it Woo. All right, guys. So hopefully that resonated for you or you found some nugget of wisdom in here. Um, as always, please feel free to contact me if you would like your own personal reading. This is general. So take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Otherwise, have a phenomenal month, guys. Take care.